Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a how to build a baby registry. So when I was pregnant, I did not have anybody to look to or have any inspiration on um, how to build my baby registry. So I hope that this video is informative for you and I hope you have a little bit of takeaways for it. Um, and I hope this helps you build your registry and congratulations on you expecting moms. So this is going to be a quite lengthy video, so make sure you grab your tea or something that makes you feel nice, like a cozy blanket and curl up with your computer, and I will help you build your registry. So first, I'm going to start recording my screen so you can see what I'm doing. All right, and if you can hear Marcus, I'm so sorry. I told him to be quiet quite a few times and he yells when he speaks he's like yelling like this when his friends are on the computer like right in front of him so I do apologize if you can hear him actually I'm gonna text him right now and be like shut up shut up okay So to get started, I use baby list. So the reason why I wanted to go with baby list is because when you add an item to your registry, it shows where that item can be purchased, whether that be Amazon, Target, Bye Bye Baby, Walmart. Um, so that's the reason I like baby list. It lists where you can buy it, the options you can buy it from, and how much it is at each store or on or or on Amazon. So when I send my registry to my family or my friends, they can know what store to purchase it from or they can purchase it through Babylist um, through the website. So if you haven't, push sign up and here it will ask you how will your journey begin? So are you pregnant? Are you adopting? Are you a surrogate or are you just still trying? So you can push pregnancy, you'll put in your date, let's just say April's too soon. <laughs> so let's say September 7, 2020, okay. So it'll tell you a cute little riddles or cute little tips. Are you a first time parent, no or yes? So I was a first time parent. And how do you feel about this whole registry thing? So like I said, I was overwhelmed. I did not know where to begin. So <laughs> if you're feeling overwhelmed, go ahead and push overwhelm. Or if you're just exploring, go ahead and push that. It's gonna ask you for your first name, your last name, and your email address and a password. And then it will give you access to your baby list registry. So I actually walked through the sign up process. So I just signed up again just so that I can see the same screen you guys are seeing. So it says, do you have a partner on this adventure? Yes. Or if you're on your own, you can click this option. So I'm going to click yes. So it asks for my partner's name. Do you want Marcus to be able to add, add gifts to your registry? So if you are with a partner, they can have access to this registry and then add stuff instead of you adding a whole bunch of stuff. So that's actually what me, Marcus and I did. I added some stuff and then a couple of things that he thought of, he added to our registry. So push yes. And you can send him an invite to the registry. So let me actually go back. I'm putting that right now. Did you know that Baby List lets you add items from stores like Etsy, Amazon, or Target? If you're new, you probably didn't know that, so you'll push no. The Baby List button lets you add items from any store. Drag the button below to your favorites bar. So you can take this literally and drag it up. You guys can't see mine, but drag it up to where your favorites would normally be. And it'll add it right there for you. And I'm actually going to have you guys see. Okay, so I dragged it up literally just like this and placed it here. And I named it Baby List Registry. So it should give you the option to list a name for it. Finish, set up. 
So if you finish two of eight, and then it says, congratulations, let's do this. If you scroll down, tap a store to browse and add items to your registry. I love Amazon, some people love Target. So let's just click on Amazon for the fun of it. So we already added this button to our favorites. So what we're gonna do is go to Amazon. So let's say I love these bottles. If you haven't checked out my newborn must-haves video, I'll link it in the description box below. Go ahead and check out that video. Um, I have a few items that are must-haves when you have a newborn. Um, so the Komotomo bottles here. So if you add, if you push baby list registry, It's gonna pop up this separate window and it's gonna actually list the Como Tomo bottles on here or the bottles on here, whatever bottles you pick um, or whatever item you pick. It'll list the price and it'll give you how many, the option to say how many you want. So if you want three of those, you can change that to three. If you want four of those, you can change it to four. So in your baby registry on babylist.com, you'll have it broken up into categories. So in these categories, you can put it as baby gear, transportation, clothing, accessory, feeding, bath time, etc., etc. So the bottles are considered for me feeding. So I want these to show up under the feeding category. If you wanted to add notes for family or friends, so we are expecting a baby boy green would be an awesome choice boom and you add that to your baby list item added so you push close hopefully you guys are catching on if you have to rewind go ahead and rewind we're going to go back to our registry so now there's one item that's already added to our registry so you can push view registry and as you can see the category name is here feeding and then the Como Tomo bottles are here what you wrote for your family and friends we are expecting a baby boy green would be an awesome choice you can list here and do you guys see here how there's multiple websites where you can purchase the product and there's multiple prices for them so baby with Amazon and Target has them at $23.99 but Walmart has it at $18.50 when you do send your registry link to your family and your friends, you're going to find that here under your registry URL, okay? So you can copy, ooh, let's see, if, there it goes. You can hit that button that's had the little squares on it and it's copied and you can paste it into a text, an email, whatever you like. So let's go to, let's try Target, you guys, target.com. So let's say we want baby washcloths and towels. So let's just say you wanted to add this, the gray one. You will hit your baby list button up here, baby list registry. It'll pop up the second window. The title of the item is here, the price and the quality. You can pick the category, so that'll be under bath time. Add it to your baby list. It's so easy to build on babylist.com. You can go to literally any website and add items that you see to your registry. So this is the one that I have been using for you guys just so that you can see the step-by-step. Step. Let me refresh so that the other ones can show up. So now you have two items, so feeding and then bath time. So right now it's only listed at Target for $6.99. Okay, so I'm gonna actually go to my registry that I had when I had Malik's. So I'm just gonna scroll down my registry list so you guys can see what type of 
things or items I added to my registry and there are some that I didn't add but I did find very very helpful number one they're in my newborns baby must-haves video and number two I do have a couple pulled up in separate um, tabs here that I'll show you so in here of course the little cute little of uh, is that event or a event how do you say this um, let me know in the comment section below so I added that to mine as you can see somebody purchased it so it's marked as purchase um, Malix was born in November so I did want to add some type of blanket for him to be warm the pack and play um, marked as purchase someone had purchased that for us as well as a baby swing uh, the side co-sleeper that one was very helpful however I will say we didn't use it as much um, as I thought I would use it so if you have a bassinet or you have a co-sleeper like something beside your bed um, you'll probably use that more than this co-sleeper this newborn lounger we still have he still sits in it <laughs> when he gets his bottle so this one is very helpful this one we still have on his car seat um someone purchased that for us i actually didn't get this one but i did get this one i'm not sure for you i think it depends on the parent uh, we didn't use this as much as we would have liked um malix is getting kind of heavy now and we don't really use it now with him but when he was smaller i used it more when he was a newborn to like do dishes around the house clean up the house um without leaving him in his lounger or leaving him in his swing and he would cry so i would carry him in this but that didn't last long maybe two months and we didn't use it as much um so it all depends on the person um so we actually did end up getting a stroller and the car seat obviously <laughs> babies need a car seat before you leave the hospital um but I don't, I don't even know why this is saying $7.99 maybe that's an error but we did purchase both of these um, and then I added some clothes and some footies oh he did get this he can't even fit these anymore uh, he did get these a lot of the clothes so clothes are very tricky if you want to put clothes on your registry I would say get um bigger sizes so get a few newborn stuff and get zero to three months closing but after that they grow like quick so um you can get so let's say they're four months you might want to get six month clothing and then six to nine month clothing as they're growing into six months so right now malix is seven months and he fits six months um, onesies but not six month sleepers they're kind of getting snug on him so what we do is buy the six to nine month sleepers and um, he can grow into that um, I'm sure by the time he's <laughs> eight months he'll be ready for nine to twelve month sleeper he's a big boy um, he is a big boy so yeah so I'm scrolling down scrolling down clothes so bottles so two were purchased so I would love to so in that quantity box I did put two and someone to purchase two um so I did actually end up getting these I believe I purchased them on Amazon but I didn't end up using them as much as I would like because I didn't breastfeed for that long maybe two to three months I breastfed um and that was it but I did I do still have that just in case you know for in the future um, we do have some Avant uh, bottles event Avant <laughs> event bottles we I didn't get a nursing pillow because like I said I didn't even breastfeed for that long my spectra I didn't get this one in my registry however I did get one sent by my insurer insurance so I if I were you I would check with my doctor um, because I believe my doctor had to to write a prescription or had to write something that I had to send in to my insurance in order for me to get 
a free breast pump. Like I literally have a free breast pump and I kept my free breast pump. So um, I would look into that or ask your doctor about it because as you can see, they are not cheap. They are $200. Um, they come with all the accessories and everything, but uh, you would have to purchase bottles to put them in bottles or like I said, purchase these um, breast milk storage bags. Um, I have some bath time care. I would say add that to your registry as well as towels and washcloths. A lot of people don't think about it, but once your baby starts getting bath, once their umbilical cord falls off, you're going to need washcloths and towels and you can't use the rough ones that you use on your skin. So make sure you add that to your registry. Uh, washcloth, towels, we did get, not these in particular, but we did get some. Uh, diaper bag wipes get lots of wipes and lots of diapers so i'm gonna let you guys know at our baby shower and from our registry we got diapers that lasted us five to six months we did not have to purchase any diapers or wipes for five to six months granted some um diapers were too small like some would, some people bought newborn diapers um, or size one diapers that he quickly grew out of. If I were you, I would buy size one and size twos for sure. Only get a small pack of newborn because they grow so fast. Size ones start at eight pounds. So if your baby is like seven pounds, I don't know, 12 ounces, I, me in particular, would not buy a whole case of newborn diapers. I would buy size one diapers. Um, so make sure you read the pound on the diapers because your baby could probably fit into size ones if you have a eight pound baby. So we have wipes. So like I said, on my registry, I didn't even put newborn diapers on here. So I have size three right here, size fours, size sixes. I think one person got a size six. Um, these are size twos. These are a bunch of wipes. We did get a bunch of wipes. The diaper genie, for sure that is a necessity. <laughs> Not unless you want to keep tossing out poopy diapers, like put them in the grocery bags and tossing them out. Um, but yes, I, I would get a diaper genie. And just to let you know, the diaper genie does need that um, insert on the inside of it for the bag, like the, that's the bag. So. I think ours came with one on the inside of it, but you'll definitely need uh, more. Monitors, what are these? Size ones, like I said, size ones start from, oops. Size ones start from eight pounds and go to 14 pounds. Um, safety guards, that's not until later, but I put that on there anyway. Thermometers, a play set, and for you mamas, I'm speaking solely to you. Even though this is a baby registry, you can put things on your registry that are for you because you will need some things. So I did pull up some things that I purchased separately for myself. So if you wanted to add it to your registry, that would be great. So I did get these breast therapy packs because when you have, when your milk is coming in or if your milk is in and you get engorged, these you can actually use cold or you could use hot so the cold what the cold does is um help with the swelling and the engorgement and the hot actually lets helps you let down so you can put these in the freezer or you can like microwave them and they're vice versa, so you can use them cold or you can use them hot. So I would definitely put this on my registry if I were you. It's only nine bucks right now. Put it on your registry. Hopefully somebody will get it for you. I also got the washable breast pads and they're reusable. So they come with this super cute um, wash bag and they come with eight, I think. Yeah, eight pack. So these are super soft, so you put the soft side on your breast and then the other side goes to the outside of your clothing and it's smooth on the other side. So it doesn't, if you're wearing it, people can't tell that you're wearing a nursing, like a breast pad. 
um, which is what I really like. And it's super small, so you can see on here it's pretty small. So I would add that to my registry if I were you as well. And I did get, I didn't get this particular one, but I did get nipple butters. Um, because your nipples will crack. <laughs> Let me tell you that right now. Your nipples will crack and they'll probably bleed. Um, so getting a nipple butter definitely helps um, with that. And like I said, these are uh, nursing pads, but I got the other washable ones just so that I wasn't throwing away a lot of them and having to repurchase. Well, that's the end of my registry. Hopefully this helped you guys understand what you may need for your registry. Hopefully you can add some items that I have here on my list onto yours. And congratulations on your new bundle of joy. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment in the comment section below what you added to your registry or what you're going to add that I didn't necessarily have. Um, make sure you check out my newborns must haves video because Malik's had some things that I purchased that um, he needed that I necessarily didn't um, put on my registry um, because I didn't think about it. So make sure you go and check out my newborns must have video in the description box below and I'll see you guys in my next video.